Hey guys, I'm J Mac. This is Raid Shadow Legends, and we've got the Jetney Fusion going on, which I'm just kind of halfway going for. If I get it, awesome. If I don't, I'm not too worried about it. But we do have the summon event, two times chance of epic and legendary champions from Ancient Shards. So I think I'm just going to pull all of them. Haven't had a guaranteed event in a while. I know as soon as I do this, I'll probably do one next week. But see what we can get today. All right, Turagi the Frog. He's a pretty good epic. Oh, come on, lag. And I do want to apologize if there's any lag in this video. The last few that I've done, I uh, will have lag with the video or just kind of stutters, but my voice still goes fine, so I haven't been able to figure out what's going wrong yet. All right, nothing new there. Nothing I think is really going to help me out. So please bear with me. My slow computer, game, internet, I'm not sure what it is. All right. Oh, nothing special there. I'm not going to go over any of the rares. Because I haven't built out just a ton of rares. Don't really have the resources to take a bunch to 60. Alright, getting a few epics rolling. Now, during a normal shard pull, 1% chance, so you can expect... You know, 1 in 100, or is it 0.5? I may have to look. Sachi Frostbringer, who doesn't bring frost. Let me look real quick, I'm curious. Got 86 left, gone through a lot of them. Alright, so 1% chance for Legendary. So, I can do all these, not get anything. Still get a little tickled at Facebook posts of people getting upset. Because they pulled 10 shards and didn't get a Legendary. All right, and looks like going my blue, but I can't complain because I just pulled 20 ancients the other day and got my two Legos from the extra event. Cult Brawler, he's an interesting champion. Um, he helped me through Faction Wars. He's got a very odd kit. Let's go. Fast Dark Aethel. Eh. So I'm getting a decent amount of epics, I guess, but there aren't many epics that are really going to help me out. Or Spider. He might be new for me. I'm pretty sure I've got the old hermit, but Spider might be new. I'll have to look and see. I don't remember. It figures the one video I actually make enough room the first time, pop all these shards. Bane, she's an awesome epic. Haven't really done anything with Scabrous. There we go. Pixneal. All right. So if I remember right, she was horrible and then maybe got a little bit of buff. Looks pretty cool. So she's new for me. So can't complain about that. A1 attacks one enemy, places a perfect bell on ally with the lowest HP. Okay. A2, three turn cooldown. Increased defense and a 15% on all allies for two turns. So three turn cooldown, get these for two turns. Then attacks all enemies under freeze debuffs. Places a weekend. Uh, the only problem with freeze debuffs is your enemy takes less damage, but I guess that's where the weekend can kind of come in and help that. But you got to get them all froze first. Attacks all enemies, 80% chance, which that books up to 100, four turn cooldown. So start out the A3, then do the A2 to get the weekend on there. So she needs to be teamed up with a nuker. All right, passive effect. Let's see. Immune to freeze debuffs. Fills champion's turn meter 25% every time an ally receives a freeze debuff. At the end of each enemy or ally turn, removes all freeze debuffs from all allies. So a freeze cleanse. Multiple champions team with this skill. Only one will remove the freeze debuff from all allies. Okay. Two, two turn cooldown. 
Yeah. I may have to watch some other videos. But I'll still pull her up to 60. I think any legendary I get, no matter how bad they are, I'll still pull up 60. But very uh, situational. I don't think it's going to help you in every area of the game. But, alright, somebody new. Let's keep going. Alika. I haven't built her out to anything with her. Marlich. Alright, well, I'm getting a lot of food. I'm getting a lot of epics that I'll be able to save for CBC to use for epic books. Zargala, she's an awesome epic. She hits hard, got some good debuffs. Alright, six. What can I do with six? I've got enough gems. I may spend some gems to get some more. We'll see. I got a lot of champions I need to do masteries for, and I don't have the multi battles or time to run Minotaur. I hate Minotaur, so I just buy gems. Um, I know it's a waste. I know what you can spend on energy with gems. It's cheaper to. Uh... Oh, it's lost my train of thought because everything lagged. It's cheaper to buy the energy with gems and run Minotaur than what it is to actually spend the gems. But for the sake of time, and I just, I don't like Minotaur. Easy fight. Thinacil, he is an awesome epic healer. I loved him. I got him very early on my account. But, so anyways, I use gems for that. I try to save them. But... I'm not going to be anywhere close to Mercy. 4,500. I'm trying to think of... I want to look to see which legendaries... I know I've still got quite a few. I don't want there. I'm getting some serious lag. Okay. Champions. I know I've got, I know I've got quite a few I need to get masteries on. I guess I need to look here first in the tournaments to see where I'm at, even though I said I'm not super going for Jetney. It's kind of one of those things that once you get a certain point, you might as well invest a little bit more, but let's see where I'm at on the tournament before I start spending gems. All right. Got everything I needed, so I think I'm gonna save my gems. Um, start hoarding up ancients again. Maybe one day I'll get to collect all this stuff, and I can start buying some of these legendaries masteries because I've built a few. I'm like, ah, they kind of suck, but it's hard to compare what you see on YouTube videos of other content creators because. They've got great gear, got the masteries on them. And I think I'm going to quit here, play stupid pop ups, and get past the lag. And I'm just going to keep rambling for a little bit. Okay, Pixneal was there. She was new. Um, Sacred Order. Talia. Okay, I didn't realize I didn't have her. So I got a new. Uh, spider, I bet he was new for me. Yeah. All right. So more epics that I can play with. New legendary. So yeah, I'm gonna save gems, work on masteries for other legendaries, and um, I think that's it. So I'll quit before I start rambling or going down another rabbit hole. So if you're pulling, hope you get what you need to get the fragments if you're going for them, or if you're just pulling for fun. I hope you get something awesome, something useful, but. I hope you all have a very blessed day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.